Prince William saved one man from a life or death situation when he was working as an air ambulance pilot, according to an unearthed documentary. Prince William is the second in line to the throne, and is expected to one day be king and his wife Kate Middleton will be queen consort. While he is now a full-time royal and spends his time with charitable organizations and working on his trust the Royal Foundation, the Duke of Cambridge used to have a page role within the East Anglian Air Ambulance. He took on this position after almost five years as a helicopter pilot with the RAF's Search and Rescue Force, and it is believed to have influenced his later work with mental health charities. In the documentary Prince William at 30, uploaded to YouTube in June 2012, keen climber Richard Lloyd revealed the time when William quite literally flew to rescue him, when he was stuck in Snowdonia National Park, in Wales. Mr. Lloyd said he was caught in a life or death situation. He said, my foot slipped on a wet rock and I fell over very very awkwardly and fell out and started screaming in pain because I knew something was very seriously wrong. People who know the Welsh mountains the weather closes in very quickly, the clouds were coming in and I was having a few problems near the end. I was literally sort of shivering when they actually came for me. He said it was spectacular when the helicopter came to collect him, adding, I just remember feeling like oh goodness what have I done? William flew the helicopter down to Mr. Lloyd, and with his team, airlifted him to hospital. Mr. Lloyd's sister said, when I spotted that it was Prince William's immediately it was shock, and slight disbelief. I kept having a little peep to see whether it really was him. Although he was also being discreet, you could tell that it was Prince William. I ran up to the stretcher where they had taken him to the hospital and I just looked at my brother and said, that's Prince William. Mr. Lloyd added, I've got so many jealous comments, especially from women. Describing his role separately, William said, when you're flying along at night in Snowdonia Mountains, and you've got 40 knot winds in the clouds down to about 200 feet and you're trying to get through to find someone who's either broken a leg or is lost on the hill, it gets quite interesting. You have, all four of you, put your brains together and your skills and hope you can actually help. William also praised the service in the documentary. I'm very privileged to fly with some of the best pilots I think in the world. Royal expert Roy Nikha said, The decision to serve at RAF Anglesey is absolutely evidence of Prince William's desire to lead as normal a life as he can as possible in extraordinary circumstances. He is a member of the royal family, but he is also, first and foremost to Prince William, he is a serviceman. She added, he works his shifts like any other one of the guys on the base and he is just one of them and his wife is one of them, an army wife. Philip Schofield also featured in the documentary and said, It's quite obvious this is a passion. There's this sense of excitement and achievement as well because he is plucking people out of the sea in incredibly, in his words, challenging conditions. In an official statement released by Kensington Palace in 2017, William said, It has been a huge privilege to fly with the East Anglian Air Ambulance. Following on from my time in the military, I have had experiences and this job I will carry with me for the rest of my life, and that will add a valuable perspective to my royal work for decades to come. William and Kate now live in Kensington Palace with their three children, Prince George, 6, Princess Charlotte, 4, and Prince Louis, 1. Since leaving the service, William has spearheaded the campaign called Heads Up, which aims to raise awareness of mental health. The Duke of Cambridge was in the Rough Search and Rescue Force, based in Anglesey, Wales, for several years and during that time he helped people who were in trouble in the mountains or sea. One grateful recipient of this help was Richard Lloyd, who went over on his ankle while out walking with family. A documentary Prince William at 30, uploaded to YouTube in June 2012, said, William's skills were called into action when Richard Lloyd found himself in a life or death situation whilst walking in Snowdonia National Park. Mr. Lloyd explained, My foot slipped on a wet rock and I went over very, very awkwardly and fell over and started screaming in pain, because I knew something was very seriously wrong. People who know the Welsh mountains know the weather closes in very very quickly, the clouds were coming in. I was having a few problems near the end, I was literally shivering like this when they actually came for me. 
The helicopter didn't appear from the sky. It actually came up from behind one of those rock faces like hair wolf or something, it was spectacular. Mr. Lloyd and his family were winched up in the helicopter and taken to the nearest hospital, where he received medical attention. Mr. Lloyd's wife Mary Jane described the moment she realized their savior was in fact Prince William. She said, when I spotted that it was Prince William, immediately, it was shock and slight disbelief. I kept having a little peep to whether it was really him, though he was also being discreet you could tell it was Prince William. She explained how she ran up to her brother and husband on the stretcher when they landed and said, that was Prince William. Mr. Lloyd joked that he has had many jealous comments from women about getting to be rescued by the dashing prince. Prince William himself has spoken about how proud he is to serve in this branch of the RAF, which he did for nearly four years from January 2009 to September 2013, before and after his wedding to Kate. He praised the commitment and skill of his fellow servicemen in the documentary. He said, search and rescue is a massive important part and all you need to do is ask all the people who have been helped, I think they're the ones who could give you a better answer. Certainly from my point of view having witnessed it for the past few months, I'm incredibly proud to be amongst such committed guys and very privileged to be flying with some of the best pilots in the world. After leaving military service in 2013, he got a civil pilot's license and took a full-time position in the East Anglian Air Ambulance. He left this position in July 2017 to take on more royal duties on behalf of his grandmother the Queen.